Why piping design is the best mechanical engineering job? Being a mechanical engineer, we all have to go through one of the toughest phase of our career is determining your field of interest. Because only in mechanical you can find a lot of options. So when you have a lot of options, it's not easy for you to determine your field of interest without knowing the pros and cons of a particular industry. So here I am with you, Subhash Chandran, with a strong industrial background. Let me tell you why piping design is the best mechanical engineering job. So without wasting your time, let's get started. Point number one, you don't have to worry about the technological shift. What does it mean? Unlike other mechanical engineering jobs, like you can take manufacturing or automobiles or production or any other mechanical engineering jobs, you can find the technological shift. The softwares are updated. Technology of the mechanism is updated. A interface has been updated. So, if you are incapable to adapt to these skills or technologies or a interface, so it's not possible for you to successfully pursue your career. But only in piping, you don't have to worry about the technological shift because piping design remains same for 150 years and it will remain same for another 100 to 150 years. So, literally, you don't have to worry about it because here the design concepts are same. Fundamental activities are same. There are minor updates in 3D softwares or 2D softwares. If you have 2 to 3 years of experience in any 2D or 3D, you will be able to understand the whole schematic because the schematic remains same. So you don't have to worry about the software updates or technological shift because that is completely zero in piping design. All you have to concentrate is about thinking how design works, how to solve the design problems, how to ease the constructions. So it is basically a good engineering knowledge that will support you for a longer period of time, not the technological shift. So especially in piping, you have this privilege. But if you compare to other fields, you have to change your skills and the technology adaptations has to be time to time upgraded. Otherwise, it's not possible for you to successfully pursue your career. Actually. So let me tell you the point number two. Even a below average candidate can make a really good salary. I'll tell you why it is actually. Because piping design doesn't require a candidate from top. That's because the piping design, it's all about how you understand the piping design works, how you understand the project requirements, how you understand the client requirements, how you implement the client specification. It's nothing about how you are academically strong because the other fields determines that it calls for a basic requirement that you need to have higher grade. But in piping design, it's all about your piping skill and your piping knowledge. So you don't have to worry about whether you're academically high or academically poor actually. As long as that you have an ability, you have a confidence to understand what is piping design and how it works, don't worry about it. I have seen a lot of below average candidates have made a lot of good salary and they have progressed to a state where they are unimaginable actually compared to any other mechanical engineering divisions because a lot of mechanical engineering jobs requires and highly academically the powerful scored candidates because because they require that kind of expectations but in piping design you don't have to worry about it if you are poor if you are below average even if you are above average don't worry about it. it's all about how you understand the piping design concepts and work according number 3 you have a clear direction of growth. What does it mean actually? The moment you join in piping design, you don't have to worry about where you will be after 10 years or 15 years or 25 years actually. The direction of growth is crystal clear so that you don't have to think about what you will be doing after 3 years or 4 years. You just have to learn the activities, work accordingly, gain experience and progress. But unlike other industries, you don't have the hierarchy at all. You don't have to, uh, you don't know what, where you'll be after five years or 10 years because the hierarchy itself is not there. Because of the technological shift, there are tremendous possibilities are making in the field so that the newcomers are joined. So being an experience in one particular field will ha not have any value in the other mechanical designs actually. I'm not talking about the the specific uh, particular industries but i'm in general i'm talking about it because in piping if you if you have joined as a junior engineer you will move to an engineer then you will move to a senior engineer then you will move to a principal engineer then you will become a lead engineer then you will become an hod if not hod you can become an engineering manager 
you can become a project manager even you can start your own company to operate an oil and gas project so this is one of the greatest advantage you have a crystal clear direction of growth unlike other mechanical options actually point number 4 global opportunities you take india you take usa you take australia you take europe you take any countries china kazakhstan russia you can find tremendous amount of piping opportunities because because what is piping piping is a technology used in all process plants what are process plants you have oil and gas you have petrochemicals you have pharma sectors you have water treatments i can name n number of industries in piping which are using the piping so all these countries have these plants actually as long as you find a process plant you get an opportunity and there are candidates who have made their life wonderful by going to other countries working in gcc you can make lot of money working in europe you'll get a comfortable lifestyle and as well as a good salary and you can enjoy the phenomenal countries the, the features basically and you can go to us there are a lot of options are available and even you can really make good money in us and countries like western countries like us and european countries actually remember it is only required your ability in piping whether to be able to make or deliver a particular thing in piping design or not it's not about where are you from actually lot of candidates are moving there are possibilities if you open up your mind you will be able to see lot of opportunities across these countries so in piping design you don't have to worry about the global opportunities you have lot of possibilities even in russia even in china and countries like africa kazakhstan you have lot of opportunities and they are paying well as well so uh, the regarding the global opportunities you don't have to worry about it the opportunities are going to be there for longer period of time so if you are a candidate who wanted to go to abroad or uh, if you wanted to pursue your life in abroad by working in piping design number 5 no complex engineering unlike other mechanical design jobs piping design it's more about common sense piping design it's more about your understanding of the basic engineering it doesn't require a complex engineering calculation solving or analytical skills basically but the other divisions like automobiles or manufacturing and machinery design you need to have lot of calculation you need to understand how the system works strength of material works how the fundamental analysis works basically but only in piping design it's all about the simple understanding of engineering that's why i'm saying that you don't have to have a technocrat brain for piping design but all you have to have a dedication that's the only thing which is required that is the only thing which is missing with most of the candidates because piping design it's not a complex engineering but the volume the activities are more so you have to align with a lot of simple engineering uh, methods and concepts to understand refer a lot of documents to verify your piping design engineering are uh, are delivered which are right according to the specification or not but the entire calculation and entire engineering process is nothing but a simple common sense so if you are a candidate who are really really don't want to get into a complex engineering calculative or complex engineer engineering uh, problems you can choose piping design because piping design is only about a simple engineering and a simple common sense actually so that's one of the very important privilege that i could see because being a mechanical engineer and having a uh, really low analytical or low interest in the calculations or design if you get into a tougher engineering it's not possible for you to uh, pursue there successfully because every day you will find it's so hard to survive in a particular field but in piping design everything you can understand within 5 minutes there is no such thing called complex engineering but you always need a right tutor a right teacher to help you if you learn the subject in and from a wrong person you will not be able to understand it is not only in piping design from any other design field i am saying or any other field i am saying actually you have to understand you have to learn the design from the right source and the right person if you are interested in my course you can watch my course i have three courses actually all these three courses are based on skills one is pipe routing second is pipe supports and third is pnid so why these three courses that i have explained in many videos let me tell you a very simple these are a primary activities for piping design one has to do in a job actually that's why i am concentrating on skill based instead of going through a general piping design course if you are interested you can check my website so that will give you more informations about 
my courses actually. So let's continue our topic. So since this is a simple engineering, anybody can join. Anybody can learn in a shorter period of time. And if you understand the concept in a shorter period of time, immediately you will be able to progress and get into a better salary. So now let's go to the last point. The sixth point is long-term opportunities. This is one of the most important privilege that I could see because you choose any field. One of the important thing that you need is opportunities. As long as you have opportunities, you will be able to survive. But remember, opportunities goes only to person who have skills. If you are going to piping without skills and if you are trying to find piping design jobs without any skills and without being able to understand what is the piping design and if you are only expecting uh, the waiting for your luck to work, it will not work. You have to understand since it is very simple engineering, you can easily understand. You just have to take a couple of courses. You just have to go through a couple of books. You have to spend nearly around three to four months of time to understand how this works. Then you'll be able to get into the job very easily. But if you are a candidate very reluctant to learn, if you are a candidate very reluctant to take some courses, because courses gives you a wonderful knowledge in a short term. By personal reading, it will take a lot of time. So initially, I would advise for a beginners to take some couple of courses, not only from me, you can take whoever that you feel better actually. But if that will help you to gain the knowledge quickly instead of you being experiencing from books because there are some vague areas that you may not be able to understand or realize. But by uh, speaking to a right people, taking a course from a right experienced professional, you will be able to understand the simple engineering very easily. So as long as the opportunities are concerned, it is directly related with the process plans. See, uh, my understanding about the process plan with the numbers that I could see from the global platform is nearly around 35,000 of plants are there. This includes all industries like oil and gas, petrochemicals, refineries and power plants and pharmaceutical, FMCG, water treatments. There are n number of chemical plants also available. So considering all these plants, you nearly have 35,000 plants actually. So all these plants definitely requires an updation, maintenance and going for a new projects. So that's one of the reason why the piping design, it's keep coming back and back because this is a long term process. Without this piping, without these industries, without any process plan, the country cannot move further. These are dealing with the, the usable chemicals that is really, really required for our daily life. So it's not uh, possible to live without these products actually. For that, piping is a mandatory item actually. So that's one of the reason I see the long term opportunities of, for piping, even if you take any countries, every country needs this facility. Every small country needs this facility. Like in India, you can see n number of plants. Like in US, you can see n number of plants. In Europe, there are plenty of plants out there actually. So do not worry about long term growth. As long as you are into piping, an ability to learn their skills and follow the engineering methods and guidelines which are pertaining to piping design, you will be successful. So these are the six points that you can really, really consider if you are stepping into a piping design because I would strongly say that these six points are not the same for other mechanical engineering jobs. So that's why I'm saying piping design, it's one of the best mechanical engineering jobs. I will meet you in another fantastic video. Until then, bye from Subhash Chandra.